simple referencing using mybib.com. MyBib takes a lot of the stress out of creating your reference list, and it is completely free. To get started, simply visit www.mybib.com. The first thing you should do is choose your referencing style. Most courses at the college will use a Harvard referencing style, although within Harvard referencing there are many stylistic variations associated with different universities. The most suitable match for the college system is titled Anglia Ruskin University, Harvard, which can be found using the search tool. Check with your tutor before you get started though, in case you are expected to use a different style for your qualification. Now it's time to create your reference list. Click Create Reference to get started. The types of material most commonly referenced are listed as tabs along the top of the box. Let's start with a book. You can search for the title of the book you wish to reference, or even easier, type in the ISBN located above the barcode or within the library record. MyBib will then hopefully return the details of the book for you. In the unlikely event that it doesn't, you can still enter the information manually. Check the details that have been automatically filled in to ensure accuracy. You may see a yellow symbol advising you that something may be styled incorrectly, so review everything before clicking save. The book has now been added to your list. Among the information given is a note demonstrating how you would cite the information within your text. The process is similar to add a journal article. You can again search for the title of the article, but if you are using an electronic journal, you can input the DOI number to make the search easier. Again, check over the information that has been filled before clicking Save. You can reference a web page in the same way by inputting the URL into the search box. Sometimes there will be important pieces of information that MyBib can't find. In this instance, it is warning us that it could not find the name of the author. In situations such as this, you will need to check your original source to see if that information is available. Alongside the author's name field is an icon that toggles between a personal author or a corporate author. If there was no personal name provided, you would use the corporation name for your reference. But in this instance, a name is given, so we will use that. When referencing websites, you also need to indicate the date you accessed it. MyBib allows you to easily select today's date, but you can adjust as you need. As well as the common types of reference, you can find many other items in the drop down More list. When inputting something from here, you will need to fill in the blank boxes yourself, and MyBib will still format it into the correct style. Once you have compiled your entire list of references, press Download Reference List. There are multiple tools to export your list into many different programs, but the simplest method is to press Copy and Paste. MyBib will then alphabetize your references and provide them in a list that you can easily copy into your document. You can create a free account on MyBib, which will allow you to save your reference list for future use. Use the Gmail option, and then whenever you sign into your student email, you can sign into MyBib with no additional steps.
As well as saving your reference list, signing in also allows you to work on multiple projects at once, creating a separate reference list for each. You can easily move references between lists too. If you would like to learn more about referencing or any other study skills, you can find lots of useful resources on the college's study skills website.